began with a brain. We are said of our fellow head tail for your Phillies franchise mode. Episode number 60, take on the Washington Nationals. You see those records, National League. Look about the National League least right now. Neither team is really committing to running away with this division. Uh, Nola not having a great year, at least win-loss wise. I mean, 343 is a very respectable ERA, 127 hits, 184 punch outs. Definitely looking to hit that 300 strikeout milestone, or that's 30 uh, strikeout marker. I mean, have a big game this game, and well, get 16 punch outs, uh, but not right there. Starting him off with a walk, something that Nola's not really used to doing, and especially this back to back walk issued by Aaron Nola. Now Juan Soto up and Soto. There you go, there's the first out of the game. First strike up for Aaron Nola. And now 3 2 count to Conforto, and Conforto goes down via the punch shot. So after two walks, two strikeouts. And now Eric Thames, and Thames unloads on that one. And that one got out of here in a hurry. He did not miss that one. A get me over fastball, and Thames, yeah, he was, he was looking that all the way. Definitely should have gone off speed there. Went with the heater. Yeah, Nola gonna regret that pitch right there. Herrick Thames, you know, filling in nice in that first base spot for, you know, the retired Ryan Zimmerman. But comes back after that home run. Gets his third strike of the game on Starlin Castro. Now, Kendall Graveman. 24 games, 10-6, a 428 ERA. 113 hits pitch, 127 hits on another, 131 whip, 46 walks, only 84 strikeouts. So, uh, less than a 2 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio for Graveman here. So, definitely have to get on that one as JT's up now, and JT unloads on that one. Sends that one into the gap. Does that have enough? No. Off the glove of the center fielder. So, JT will be in at second base standing with a. Uh, one out double and two double leaders on the Phillies JT's got 34 Scotty K has 30 Harper 27 and the quite Austin Meadows has 26 and now Austin Meadows you saw last game he had a home run robbed from him uh, try robbing that one Michael Conforto you can not his 32nd on the season okay I mean I know Austin Meadows was an all-star with the Tampa Bay Rays, but did not see this home run power coming. But, you know, bringing that score just a little closer takes the Nationals' lead down to one. Meadows going to be definitely a big time playoff bat. You know, big time bat in general for this Phillies lineup. He does have one more year of controllability through arbitration. So, the Phillies can either look to use him for that one last arb year. We're giving this big extension coming this offseason. Now Reese Hoskins up and Hoskins goes down via the punch out. So two outs now getting first strike of the game for Graveman. Now Bryson Stott, Stott average, not really where you want it to be. But a chopper up the middle past everyone. And that's the kind of hit you just need to have. Just some confidence booster hits. Now two outs in the second inning and Nola. Gets the strikeout, trusting his heater after a big home run last inning, but taking on Graveman. I guess he's not too worried about him going deep. Scotty K up now in the second inning, and Kenry late swing on that slider right there. Yeah, you know, look like a desperation swing trying to foul it off. That's going to be a strikeout. Now 3 2 count to Nola, and Nola going to be doing some Nola things right here. There you go, base hit. The pitcher who doesn't really swing the bat well gets himself a hit. And now Bryce Harper leading off this game, you know, draws the walk. 21 pitches through two innings. I mean, Graveman was cruising so far. I'm sorry, 21 pitches this inning. And Graveman now definitely regretting that two-out walk as JT takes that inside fastball and gives the Phillies a two-run lead right here. Big-time home run, his 13th on the season. I mean, we don't really need a ton of home runs out of our catcher. We need him to hit for average and play some great defense. But, I mean, defense doesn't really mean anything in MLB The Show because you could put Gary Sanchez behind the plate and he'll do just fine. But Phillies now take a 5-3 to three lead. 
Nola's mistake in that first inning has been undone on two Phillies home runs. A two-run shot by Austin Meadows and a three-run shot by J.T. Riamuto, the realest catcher in the National League. Under 12 off the bat, 416. Now, Meadows up again. We're just talking about him as he takes that one to right field. That one's going deep, and that one will clear the wall. His second home run on the game. And I'm sorry, that was his 34th home run of the season. So last time when I said it was his 32nd, it was actually his 33rd home run on the year. So Meadows, an absolute unit. And to give up a prospect like Leo Carvajal, I think this return is very favorable for both teams. You know, Ray's got a prospect in Carvajal who is only 19, has all of his team control ability left, 73 overall, and you can build around him for the future. While Meadows is a player for a win now team like the Phillies. Reese Hoskins up in Hoskins. Takes that ball in to left field past the shift. Hoskins, though, he's uh, not the fastest person on the team, so he's going to hold that first base, which could be a double four like a Bryce Harper or a JT. Kingery Stott, definitely. Now, third inning, one two count to Luis Garcia, and Garcia goes down via the punch out on the changeup right there. Fifth strikeout of the game for Nola. Now, 2 1 count to Brian Rounds and Reynolds. Tees that one off and goes to left field right there. Meadows plays it pretty well. Gets it in pretty quickly, but it will be a one-out single. Nothing you can do about that. Juan Soto up and Soto sends that one to deep left field. Meadows can only watch that one as that one clears the wall. A two-run shot. His 27th on the season. Has that lead that Austin Meadows and JT Riamuto gave Aaron Nola has been entirely reversed on this two-run shot by Juan Soto. I mean, just not great pitching here in Philadelphia this season. Last episode, Zach Granke got roughed up. This episode, Nola's being roughed up a bit. Six punch shots there through three is great and all, but allowing five runs in those innings is just not what you want to see from your starter. Now, Graveman still out here struggling with now in the inning. And now Trey Turner up top of the fourth inning. Gets the punch out. Seven strikeouts on the game for Nola. We need 16 to hit 200 this game. You know, Nola definitely a lot for a, a, a Cy Young competitor. But third walk of the game, too. So Nola's pitch count up there at 72 pitches. Only through three and two-thirds innings. Definitely going to be looking at a short outing this game if he cannot settle down. And a base hit right there is also not going to help his cause one bit whatsoever. Bottom of the fourth inning now. Still up by one run. And Bryce Harper takes that one past the shift. Goes all the way to the wall. Harper big turn. Takes that 69 nice speed. And gets into second base head first slide. His 28th double on the season. Now, Graven's stat line. Not looking super great. Six runs, two punch outs, two walks, eight hits, only three innings pitched. Meadows now, Chopper. I mean, run's going to score. But outside of that, I mean, it is an out, though, so you got to train out for the run right there, which is probably the best way to do it. Just a little, you know, hit and run. And that's enough for the Nationals manager, as he has seen enough of Kendall Graveman. Phillies get one more run, you know, extends the lead 7 to 5. And, well, Kendall Graveman just had, was not his day this game. Better luck next time. Get in the shower, get that hot water. But in will come Eric Fede in four games. He has 19 innings pitched. Jeez, that's a lot. 326 ERA, 21 punch outs to six walks. Right here's batting over 300, lefty's batting a cool 250 against him. So, I don't know if this guy is good or just unlucky, but gets a strikeout right there looking on Reese Hoskins to end the inning. So, good for Eric to come in and close the door. Brad Peacock comes in, second game in a row for Brad Peacock appearance. Peacock, though, living up to that 2022 All-Star selection. Has been doing pretty well for the Phillies, but with an outtake on Juan Soto. Soto, 
goes down via the fastball. He took Nola deep earlier in the game, but Peacock getting the better of the 2022 All-Star. Now Malcolm Conforto jump ship from the Mets to the Nationals just to be struck out by Brad Peacock. So Peacock comes in one, two, three inning and gets to place the bottom of the fifth inning now for Alec Bohm to single up the middle with one out off Eric Fede. Fede, Fede. I want to say Fede because I don't know how to say his name. Now Scotty K and Scotty K takes that inside curveball right there. And just absolutely sends that one to deep left field. Always great at hitting inside pitches right there. And that's going to be, what, his 16th on the season. Maybe his 14th. Maybe his 10th. Who knows? Scott Kingery, though, just absolutely killing it as of recently. You know, hasn't made an all-star game yet, unfortunately. You know, he's been snubbed, especially that first year. He was definitely snubbed. But... It's all right, though, as, you know, he's, he's had himself a pretty big game. Uh, you know, home run late, you know, two more runs gives the Phillies a four-run lead late in the ball game. You know, the, the bullpen's been pretty solid. Starting pitching pretty shaky. So hopefully that can continue. Now Adam Hayes is up in Hazley. Rolls himself a walk right there. Two-out walk for Hazley in the bottom of the fifth inning. And that's... That could spell disaster for Fede. Now he's already left a home run this inning, but he gets out of the end. That was Edgar Garcia is going to take him out for the Phillies. In 60 games, he's 5 and 2. 6 holds, 66 innings pitched, 339 ERA, 65 punch outs, 224 walks. Uh, righties are absolutely crushing him, and right there proves it yet again. A deep fly home run off Edgar Garcia by Eric. Thames, his second home run of the game. Jeez, Eric Thames is just living in the Phillies' head right now, rent free. You know, of all the players you want to beat you, you don't want Eric Thames to beat you. You know, it looks like he's having a down year. Home run totals aren't there, especially for what he does when he's with the Brewers. But, you know, Garcia, though, he's a good relief pitcher, though. Bears down after that home run. It strikes out Sterling Castro. Now, Trey Turner up and turn. Called strike through in that changeup right there. So back to back punch outs. And now Alex Avila and Avila goes down on the fastball. So 1 2 3, the strikeout after the Thames home run. Now big Reese Lightning singles up into right center field. Right for your cuts up where they can get to the wall though. So two out single. Edgar, Edgar Santana in now for the Phillies. Still holding strong with that sub 1.5 ERA in 43 games. You know. Don't know if he's had another save opportunity since coming to Philadelphia, but hey, he is still proving to be a very dominant relief pitcher for any Philadelphia ball club. And as soon as I say that right there, a pinch hit home run for Michael Brantley as the long ball is definitely making and breaking this game. Brantley's 13th on the season. I mean, definitely play the matchup right there. They brought the lefty in to hit against the right-handed pitcher. That's just small ball thinking right there. You know, just lefty-righty matchup. They brought the lefty in. You know, Luis Garcia. Alvin <laughs> Garcia goes down for the first out of the seventh inning. So hopefully just like Edgar Garcia comes in, strike out the side after letting up a home run. But no, that is going to be a slapstick single right there to left field. Meadows gets it in pretty quickly. Now top of the seventh. There you go. Still. That's going to be a strike on Juan Soto. Back-to-back -back punch outs in his last two at-bats for, uh, for Soto. And now Conforto dribble up the middle past the diving Scott Kingery for a two-out single. So man in scoring position now with that single. As Ryan Harper comes in for the Nationals in eight four games, he's 4-1, and one, nine holds. 75 innings pitch, a 393 ERA, 58, 29 strikeouts to walk. So, I mean, he gets the job done. He's productive. Uh, Scott Kingery sends his second home run deep into the night. If Eric Thames and Austin Meadows can hit two home runs, why can't Scott Kingery? His 17th on the season, 13th on the season. I'm trying to read it off the screen right now, which is very small. So you have to forgive me on that one for what home run number that is for Scott Kingery. But, you know, rookie though, did get called up though. Simon Muzito, 
Uh, he, he has had to do something this game. He hasn't really done much. Because that's who the whole game is based around for this episode is that guy. That seems like everyone else is stealing the show from the rookie center fielder. Now, Simon Muzito up, 2-2 two, two count, and he will go down swinging right there. Some major league debut for him. Does not record a hit so far through seven innings. Probably will not get another at bat. Edgar Santana will be pinch hit for as here comes Jorge Soler. Now Soler, big power bat, batting 291. Not just power, but can hit almost, you know, I don't want to say hit for average, but almost 300 is pretty good off the bench. So Anthony Dominguez, the man who threw his gun with instead of Nick Anderson as they traded Anderson earlier episodes. But, top of the eighth, one, two, count, Trey Turner and Turner. Goes down that 100 mile an hour fastball down the chute. Second out of the eighth inning. And now here comes the Nationals manager as Dominguez does go out that inning. He's to make some changes in the field and on the mound. On the mound, Sam Freeman, the veteran lefty, comes in. Was with the Houston Astros for a little bit, so we don't like him. But in seven inning games, he is one in six. Jeez. 13 holds, 63 innings pitched in a almost 5 ERA. As he gets Austin Meadows a strike out there. So a 1 2 3 inning for Sam Freeman. As the Phillies just need to call on their closer to get three outs to end his game. Then comes Hector Neris and Neris in 38 games is 1 0. 27.9 saves, a 170 ERA in 37 innings pitched. 41 strikeouts, 2 13 walks. Raiders batting 207, left he's batting under 200. And first batter he sees will be walked. Alright, key boom, very dangerous bat. So, you know, don't play situation. 2 2 count to Garcia. And Garcia goes down via the strikeout right there. And he's definitely not had a great game. And now Juan Soto with two outs in the inning. Dribbler in front of JT. JT fires it the first in time, beats him by a step. And that will end the game right there. So Simon Muzito, who did make his major league debut this game, does not record a base knock, does not have, what anyone would say, a great major league debut. And we've definitely had better on the channel. Alex King hit a grand slam, I believe. At least it was a home run for his first major league hit. And you find out a couple of players do fairly well, like Alec Bohm and Bryson Stott. Even Spencer Howard in their major league debuts, but can't always have a great major league debut for these young fellas when they do get called up to the majors. But Phillies do defeat the Nationals 10 to 7. 12 hits for the Phillies to 8 for the Nationals. Now Brad Peacock gets the win in relief of Aaron Nola, pitched an inning. Kendall Graveman went three and two thirds, gets the loss, and Naris picks up his 28th save on the season, right? Fun texting YouTube though. Hope you enjoyed that. So hit that like button. Comment down below your favorite part of this was. And I said no. Peace out. Rock on, Steve Kossi, And uh, have a super great day, I guess. I don't know.